Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker and today we are back at Freeman Motorcycles and I am riding this a Kawasaki Z1000SX I literally haven't touched this bike yet so this is uh, legitimately, well I lie, I turned it on let's hope it sounds nice it does sound nice <laughs> that's a bonus now what modes do we have? power, low, full, we'll go full of course traction we'll go with number two okay so uh here we go the first first ride <laughs> i like this thing already it's a cool seating position now no quick shift or anything like that on this bad boy so i know honestly very very little about this bike which is honestly what what half attracted me to it uh, because i'd never ever tried one and i always I've always liked Kawasaki's, um, for obvious reasons, because they're class. <laughs> but, you know, this one is, is in Freeman, and I've been looking at it for a while, and I've been meaning to get down to them to do more bike rides, so we'll go my usual starting route. If I could just, go on, don't go my way, yes. Oh! We will hop off and have a look at this in a while. <laughs> It has a uh, Scorpion, what looks like the circuit exhaust, which is an exhaust I've been meaning to actually get a, a good sound of for a long time because they sound phenomenal in my experience, but this thing is just, it's nice and quiet, so the baffle is probably still in it. Uh, it looks like it has, yeah, we have Oxford heated grips. <laughs> um, you know, you have your adjustable suspension. I don't know if it's compression changeable, but we'll check because I can see everything else up here. We got a preload rebound, so I assume, I assume, just take it handy now my tires are cooled i assume that all the rest is there as well brakes are pretty good we will have we will hop off and have an old walk around and see what we have soon i will say though it's the stance on this bike is lovely it's it's weird it's it's very short wheelbase wise or it feels very short and the front end it feels very far below me so that's kind of cool oh yeah oh yeah it moves and i'm in low 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 revs because i don't know the bike yet we'll give it a, a proper brake test here yeah those brakes are good i would have confidence in them the rear is <laughs> the rear is a rear brake <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it at that uh i was saying that this thing has go about it and also plenty of stop, as you just saw. Oh, I like this thing. This thing is just, oh, it's lovely. Just through that little set of corners. Hard on the brakes again. Oh, I could, I could, I could take this thing home now for a week or two and just enjoy it, get to know it. Um, oh, I, li I like it. To be honest, uh, straight off the bat, and it's something I've noticed about a lot of um, Kawasaki's is that a lot of their screens are kind of weird i'm i'm not gone on the screen on it even just kind of sitting behind it it's just it's odd um industrial looking but the rest of the bike i really like i'm not sure is there anything you can do about that screen as far as i know it is an adjustable one so you probably you can probably change the screen the mounting bolts i don't know maybe you can throw new maybe analyze black ones in there maybe that would make it look better but i think it's just the way kawasaki do their screens they're just weird i don't i'm not sure i like them these people are very much in my way i will say um the tank where the tank is sitting between my legs that's a lot of stones in the road is absolutely lovely it really fits into my legs and being a taller gentleman that is that is a nice feeling the way it's just it's just sat in there you know Oh yeah, this thing, this thing gets a move on. <laughs> uh, when we pull in, I'll check on my phone, but I'm going to give a guess right now that this has uh, considerably more power than my CBF because it's it certainly feels like it. I'm going to say maybe 140 brake. Hold on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is a lot faster than the CBF.
and the exhaust sounds great. Oh, the bike, the bike just feels fantastic to be honest. This is this is a nice bike. Now, obviously, look, this isn't going to be like my usual first ride reviews because I don't have time today, and Freeman are closing because this is. I just came over here after work. Um, I don't have time to, you know, do a full first ride review where I get to know the bike and then tell you all about it. But what I'll give you is like very, very, very early first impressions. So first impressions are the comfort. As soon as I got my, my bad hip to unlock. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> I mean, my legs are in a comfortable position. Where I am on the tank tucked in is lovely. The bars are really comfortable. Uh, the mirrors are one thing I'm not sure I like too much. I find, I find it hard to actually see anything useful out of them. And I have them positioned pretty well. It's just they're not really... Yeah, they're not great. Oh, they're not great. So the mirrors are not great. And I'm not mad on the screen. So everything comfort actually sitting wise is great. Uh, but the screens, the, 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 the screen and the, the, the wing mirrors, the screen works fine. It's not a lack of functionality. It's just I just I just don't like how it looks, um, which is obviously important for your motorbike. You want you want to like how it looks, and I don't really. That's mm, I don't like that screen. I don't like that screen, and I, I don't mind how the the wing mirrors look, but they're not very useful. So I don't know. Maybe if I played around with positioning a bit more, and I have to say, off the bat, you know, like the gearing, I'm I'm riding it down there. Like four or five thousand revs. This thing revs to eleven. <laughs> so I'm guessing I have plenty of low end torque on this thing as well. Um, and I would imagine it probably peaks. I'm gonna guess around eight and a half. So like we'll just pull from here, so five. It just it's it's instant. It is absolutely instant and it's it's a very smooth power delivery all the way up through the rev range. So power, I mean, yeah. Color me impressed, I like it, and like I said, this is very, 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 very first impressions. I, but I, this, I put it to you this way, right? If you were going for a test ride and you were thinking about buying this bike, this is this is probably the type of effort you get, you, you know, the time you get with it. Usually, I like to spend more time with it because I like to give people an impression of, you know, obviously more than they're going to get to do on the day if they go and test ride it. It's it's. It's like an extended first ride is what I try to provide in my first ride reviews, but this is very much the kind of the test ride that you'd be doing and Yeah, I have to say oh no Oh no This is a, this was a nice piece of road I'm gonna have to go very slowly. There's a lot of stones That is what we you described uh, as describe as ruined folks. It's ruined um, but yeah, the power so far just around the, the, the bends before they ruined them. It was really, really nice, really good, very usable on the road. Uh, from again, very early, and I hate saying this stuff when I haven't put a bit of mileage onto a bike because it's it's hard to, it's really hard to judge. Like, do I think it's good? Yes. If I spent two hours with it, like I usually would, would I think that I'd prefer the CBF? It's it's hard to know. I, I couldn't make a judgment on this. Uh, right now. Oh, oh, yes! Oh, Kawasaki, you beautiful, beautiful creatures. What have you done? Like, look, it just, as soon as you get off the stones, this thing just comes back alive. This thing is so nimble. Ah, oh, like, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, this thing, I like this thing. And really, when you're when you're accelerating, that tank just grabs you, grabs you, pulls you in, and says, "I got you. I will hold you as you accelerate, my sweet." And I have to say, I appreciate that. I appreciate a bike that treats me right. You know. Oh, this is just. I am enjoying the hell out of this thing. And as you can tell, if you go and buy this today, it is ready to go. <laughs> this would be fun on the road. This would be fun on the track. And this would be fun, I would imagine, going on a bit of a longer spin. Because 
even though I've been on my own bike today and my hip my hip is really giving me problems at the moment like really giving me problems at the moment you know I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a physio person about it and uh, look I don't know how much better it's ever gonna get so I just kind of have to mind it but yeah look basically this this honestly isn't that uncomfortable like once I once I got my kind of legs set up where I knew they needed to be uh, I'm actually quite comfortable sitting here now there's no pressure on my legs I'm at a very neutral seated place it's just nice so to get the power down and, and you know enjoy it and, like this thing is dead straight and hard on the brakes you know you'll stand that thing up like there is it's it is it's a well well set up bike we'll go with the main road a little bit because i think that's what this is made for and obviously what we have is we have a full power mode we have a low power mode and you have four traction controls you have off one two three uh, i'm currently in two because it's not my bike and it's the first time i've ever ridden it so i'm going to be leaving it in two and that honestly looks like it i'll just check what else we have we have temperature on the dash we have i'm not sure what that says we're going to just go past here oh we have time of day oh okay so you have temperature on the dash time of day um you have all your basic stuff horns and all that stuff so i mean like nothing fancy on this thing but it does what a bike should do oh it has oodles of power plenty of stopping but like cornering oh 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 i like this bike <laughs> most useless review ever do you like it Ye yes yes i do it's one of those bikes that whispers bad things in your ears you're like oh I'm out, hey i'm out for a i'm out for a nice cam spin today and it's like no you're not no listen you're not you might want to be but you're not anymore and you, <laughs> it's it's just it's one of those ones you know you're you go out with all the intentions of being a good boy or a girl and yeah it doesn't it doesn't come off like that but like now i'm in sixth gear and this thing is just chilling at four and a half thousand four actually four thousand revs and it's it's calm as you like it's just still wonderfully smooth through the corners completely controlled it just nothing absolutely nothing i can fault this on it feels so good like this bike is in good 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 condition i honestly i i enjoy my time with all bikes all bikes are great and you know this obviously isn't a brand new bike it has 32,000. Uh, 680 miles on it it's been used but it still feels everything feels tight everything feels correct there's nothing there's nothing that jumps out at me and says oh um you know I'd, i'm broken <laughs> i am very broken please make the pain stop because sometimes you get things like that sometimes you jump on an old bike and someone just hasn't looked after them and this looks like a good place to stop ali patrick sports center thank you for your contributions uh, to the Gorilla Biker. I'm just gonna pop in, pop in here now. I will go up onto the footpath in case anyone turns up. But I have to say, you know, even now there, like getting my legs down, this thing is, look, look, I'm, st I'm standing up pretty straight, like, which is very unusual for me on a bike. The kickstand is small. Uh, the tires are, looking good pretty much brand new it's a 151 so this is a 151 bike um has two good tires on it from the looks of it obviously it does have upside down forks it looks they are fully adjustable i see the compression change there so if you fully adjustable upside down forks that's a nice little touch you have a remote adjust preload adjust i imagine preload spring preload yeah pre it's preload adjustment on the back so that's good and you have the scorpion i think that's the circuit exhaust by the way it sounds fantastic and standard brakes on the back what else just off what can i see rng frame sliders they're nice um and yeah that's kind of it just the standard exhaust tail on it and you, oh by the way this is dual exhaust i forgot to mention that it's like cbf i love i love dual exhaust it looks like a did uh gold chain that doesn't look stock which means you know you've a did 
Golden Chain. It's very clean. It's very clean. I know um, they're telling me inside that there's one or two small scratches, but they're being fixed tomorrow. So by the time you go to see this thing, it'll be it'll be sorted, and this thing will be 100%. I mean, looking at it from here, it looks absolutely pristine to me, to be quite honest. Um, they're probably those type that you can't really spot unless you're told where they are, but yeah, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. So look, this this is kind of it. I can't talk too much more because I have to bring the bike back to them, unfortunately. I'd, <laughs> I'd like to keep it a bit longer. Um, but to run through it really quick, uh, the comfort is pretty good. I'm six foot seven, forgot to mention that. So 200 centimeters, I'm about 126 kg or 270 pounds. Um, this is comfy. Yes, I have. I do have a problem. I'm really suffering at my right hip at the moment, but that is not the bike's fault. Um, that happens at pretty much any bike I'm sitting on really at the moment. Uh, even on the CBF, I'm having to like drop down my right leg and just hang it when I'm on out in the road um, to give it to give it a chance because it's it's not good. But look, that's that's not your problem. Um, power and torque. I'm actually going to Google them right now. One second. Oh, did I say that on camera? I can't remember. I think I said I think I said about 140 40 odd. It's 142 horsepower at 10,000 RPM, and the torque is 111 newton meters at oh 11 and a half thousand. Wow, this thing pulls. It pulls the whole way up. That's impressive. That is impressive. And it does weigh 230 kg. Now that is something I did notice, is it actually feels quite light. Yeah, look, the only thing that I don't like, and I don't mind it from here actually, I quite like the front end from off the bike, and the screen is quite nice from off the bike. I just, I'm not mad. And actually, every, yeah, everything looks good from off the bike, but just from here, Ah, uh, I don't know. Am I being harsh? I don't, I, let me know in the comments. Do you think I'm being harsh? I don't like how that screen looks from on the bike. That's one thing. What else? Uh, you got a pretty pretty spacious, actually, uh, pillion seat there. That's that's not so bad. Um, you got your pillion pegs, obviously. So, I mean, it, the, to be honest, just from the naked eye, from, from what I know of this bike, which isn't a huge amount, it looks pretty, pretty, pretty stock. Apart from the stuff that you don't want to be stock, like the exhausts. I mean, who wants a stock exhaust? I know actually lots of you want stock exhausts. I get I get comments about it all the time, but I don't care. Stock exhausts suck. Um, and the tires are definitely Mission Road 5s anyway, are they? They look like Road 5s. I recognize the tread. Yeah, Road 5s. So, I mean, what more do you want? Uh, if you want this, I'll throw the price. I forgot to ask the price. I'll throw the price up on the screen now. And you can get it from Freeman Motorcycles in Clamel. Um, they've been great to deal with for me. Uh, to be honest, I haven't. I have no problems. But overall, that's the bike. That is the the, the very very first ride of the Kawasaki Z1000 SX. I had a blast. <laughs> in a short time, I had a blast. I'm gonna have a blast on the way back as well. At 100%. Um, <laughs> it's it's a fun bike. It is a very fun bike. And if you're interested in it, give Freeman a shout and give it a test ride because. I would imagine at 2015 with the mileage, this is probably going to be a pretty damn good deal, especially considering you got brand new tires, and it's the thing is the thing is pristine from what I can see. Like those fairings are untouched, and you've your frame sliders and everything else. So I mean, yeah, if you wanted, let them know. And that is it. Um, I would put it this way, okay? Because usually I'd say at the end of these videos, would I buy it or not? I'm not sure. I'd, I haven't spent enough time with it. But what I will say is I definitely want to ride it more. Um, and and <sighs> I'm lying. To be honest, I, I think I would buy one. I think I would. I, I really want a Kawasaki one day. It's a bike I haven't owned yet. And that thing, that thing, that thing would be so much fun. So much fun. Maybe too much fun. I'd probably get myself in trouble. But anyway, that's neither here nor there um i i would like to spend more time with it and get to know it better uh so yeah yes yes i like it it gets two thumbs up from me the gorilla biker um that sounded weird but it gets two thumbs up from me so there, there you there you go there you go i don't think there's anything else i need to say i enjoyed that i enjoyed the hell out of that and that green is bloody beautiful very nice color scheme very nice color okay i'm gonna stop now I'm gonna stop so yeah if you watch thank you very much for watching let me know in the comments what you think of this bike and would you give one a test ride and would you buy one or do you already own one let me know down in the comments as always a very special thank you to my patrons um you are the reason i keep making videos well not just the reason but a large chunk of the reason i keep making as many videos as i do i appreciate your support a lot 
And yeah, until next time, I'm, I'm just going to be in a good mood for the day now because I got to ride this thing. I absolutely love riding new bikes. It makes me happy every time. It's just great. Yeah, I'm going to shut up now. Yeah, There you go. I'm going to shut up now. Thank you very much for watching again. And do, honestly, please leave some comments. Comments have been scarce on the ground in some videos recently. So let me know. Let me know what you think of the bike. Let me know. Are you going gonna to give Freeman a shout? Let me know if, if, you, if you own one or whatever else. And yeah, until next time. Thank you again for watching. Adios. Outro crew. This thing is actually, this thing is, this thing is ma mental. I really, I really like, like, oh, there's one of the little scratches. That's being fixed anyway tomorrow. That's being fixed. Let's have a, let's have a quick look. You're the outro crew. You get, you get the extra stuff. Let's see what's in here mode. Okay, that's just trips. Yeah, that's just trips. And then resets, resets. So yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing fancy about this. I like it. What do you think, outro crew? Do you like Kawasaki's? Actually, Outro Crew, what is your favorite bike brand? Let me know in the comments. I don't really have one. I like them all. Yeah, okay.